Hey everybody, this is going to be another video about Time Warner Cable. On June 10th, I received an email from Time Warner Cable saying that um, we were getting, you know, these certain amount of savings, but we have to increase your bill. But don't worry, you're still saving this amount of money. You know, they're going to go up on the price. Now, usually when you get an email like that, or typically when you get a placard in the mail, it's not a good sign. It's usually they're going to go up on price or they're going to make it the lease and other pieces of equipment just to get their service. It's usually bad news in one way or another. Basically, Time Warner Cable, or at least, you know, in this point of time, I mean, today, if I didn't mention today is June 22nd, 2014, um, this month, Time Warner Cable is increasing rates for, you know, their, their promotional offer on a triple play, which is TV, internet, and home phone. Our bill is going from like $120-something a month to $150-something a month. And what gets me is, you know, it's like a yearly thing. Every t like every year, some point in the year, we have to call Time Warner and complain about the bill to make them lower it. And usually they'll, they'll either lower it or they'll put in some bill credits or something. But I'm going to show you in this video how you can really slash that bill and still enjoy decent services. On the far left here we have a Seaton Infinity V4 TV tuner card. In the middle we have a Motorola Surfboard Extreme cable modem. On the right we have a Magic Jack Plus. <laughs> so, I'm sure maybe some of you guys might remember the first triple play bundle commercials that aired back in I think it was 2011. You had your TV on the left for $33 internet in the middle for $33 and your phone right for $33. It's kind of funny here how I got these set up. Left we have a TV solution, middle we have an internet solution, and on the right we have a phone solution. I'm going to cover the TV solution last because it's really reserved for those who have some technical expertise in diagnosing and figuring, figuring stuff out. But these two here, on the, these two on this, you know, over here are pretty simple. Um, so I'm going to get started here. Um, basically, one of the big ways you can slash your bill is by not leasing so much equipment from Time Warner Cable. Now, to get these three services from Time Warner, you typically have to lease a set-top box for the TV or a DVR for the TV. And for the internet and phone, you have to lease a special kind of modem. And it's a big thing. It's made by Aeris and it's called the Touchstone Telephony Modem. I'm telling you, the thing is absolutely huge. It takes up a lot of space on your desk. Now, um, the funny thing is, if you're an internet customer, you're having to pay $6 a month now for modem lease fees every month. But the thing is, um, let's say if I want to keep um, Time Warner's home phone, but start using my own modem. And it's, it's really funny how this is. How, how this is. Um, Time Warner does allow you to keep the big piece of equipment for your home phone and just split your coax line, run one side to your new modem and one side to your old Aris modem that's now just being used for phone. Now obviously many of you know that splitting your cable line is not a good thing. You try to avoid splits wherever you can because splitting your line into two decreases your cable signal. And I don't like splitting cable lines. I don't like cable lines getting, you know, you know, it, it just makes a big mess on your desk too when you have that and your Aeris device right in the same area. So just keep it simple. Get rid of the home phone. And that's what we had the Mad Jack Plus for. What we're going to do is we're going to switch Time Warner's home phone. We're going to, yeah, we're going to keep the existing phone number and move to Mad Jack Plus and get rid of Time Warner's home phone. This way we have one modem, not two modems, but one modem on the desk. 
Not to mention we're going to be saving some money with Mad Jack Plus. And I'll get back to that in just a moment. So we had the home phone out of the way. Now we can easily um, use our own modem. So you're saving six dollars a month right there by using a modem. Now obviously you have to buy the modem and they're not really cheap. I mean this one here was around seventy something dollars at Best Buy. And we also added in to your extended warranty because when you buy your own modem you're pretty much in your own hands when it comes to something happens to your modem like it gets fried by a lightning strike. So you have a choice when it comes to lease fees. Lease fees may act as insurance if you get lots of lightning hits and stuff like that. Your stuff gets fried a lot. But for those who have not had issues like that, like me, um, those, those lease fees just keep adding up. $6 a month, I mean, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> that, I mean, that, that's $72 a year that you're just throwing away. In a year's time, this will pay for itself. So, so definitely get rid of the modem and get your and get rid of the lease modem and get your own modem. You'll save six dollars right there. Now let's go and talk about the Magic Plus. Now this Magic Plus is actually an older, the older one. It's not the new 2014 version. I bought this one because I'm used to using this one. I have one of these already and used it for nearly two years. And when you compare it to Time Warner's home phone. They pretty much go hand in hand in terms of performance. The Magic Plus, in my opinion, works just as good as Time Warner's home phone, if not better. And you're saving a lot of money by using Magic Plus. Now, Magic Plus was $39.95 at Walmart, or $39.88, if to be correct. Um, yes, they've come down quite a bit. Now, with the 2014 Magic Plus, you only get like six months of service bundled in. With this one, you should get a year of service. So that's another reason why I got this one. So anyways, now that I mentioned about how um, it's a good idea just to get rid of the Time Warner Home Phone Ghost Magic Plus when you're going to be um, getting your own modem, let's go and talk a little more about price in terms of the Magic Plus. Of course, you buy the thing at Walmart or wherever for like $39.95. I guess that's what the price is now. It really is, it depends where you go, I guess. Um, when you transfer your existing phone number with Magic, um, you have to pay $20.00 to port in an existing number and you have to pay an annual ten dollar fee every year which is really not bad when the year of service is only twenty nine ninety five and if you buy um, the five year plan that's nineteen ninety five a year for five years that's that's pretty decent now magic used to be a little bit cheaper than that but still we're talking we're talking um, you know, $2.50 a month when you're talking $29.95 a year. So, you're spending $39.95 a year on your home phone when you transfer your existing phone number from your Time Warner home phone to Mad Jack Plus. And I and Tree heard me, heard me mention earlier about um, how the Mad Jack Plus seems to perform just as well as Time Warner's phone. Well, let's go ahead and do a test just to go ahead and show you that. Here is my Android smartphone, and it's on Verizon, and we get a decent signal. I figured this would be a good opportunity to um, let you listen to how Magic Plus sounds versus Time Warner phone. So I'm going to place a call to my smartphone. Now I wish I had a, I had a third landline to use, but I don't, so I apologize. But um, but yeah. So here's my here's my phone, my smartphone, and I'm going to place a call from it using a Magic Jack Plus connected telephone. And then I'm going to use a phone that's connected to Time Warner Cable's home phone service. So let's go ahead and dial that number, shall we? Okay, everybody else. 
speaking for the Magic Plus connected phone. And as you can hear, it sounds pretty clear. For those of you who have never heard somebody talk on a Magic phone, it's, I mean, obviously, it sounds like a regular phone, except you're paying a lot less <laughs> per month. Well, yeah, per month, if you can call it that. So, now you've got the opportunity to hear a Magic Plus phone. Let me go ahead and call you back using a Time Warner phone. Okay, everybody, now you hear me speaking from a Time Warner cable connected phone. And as you can tell, well, can't tell, I don't really, I'm sure you probably don't really hear much of a difference here. I mean, seriously, the only difference you may see is how much you pay per month on your phone bill. I mean, seriously, when you, com when you compare a Time Warner's home phone versus Magic Plus, the biggest thing you'll see is a difference in the bill. Obviously, Time Warner phone is more. So, I mean, it's kind of obvious why you want to get rid of it and just go with Magic Jack Plus instead. Okay, now you actually got a chance to hear the difference between the two, well, or lack of difference, um, you clearly see why it's a no-brainer. Don't even bother with Time Warner's home phone. If, you, if you're if you using it, just switch to Magic Jack Plus. That way you have one less obstacle <laughs> to deal with when you go with your own modem. Now, um... In terms of the of the process of porting over your existing phone number, it's not too difficult. I mean, it really depends on you know a few factors. Like, you know, if you're not very used to using a computer, it may be a little more difficult. Maybe you have a friend that can help you out with the process. But I've done I've done a couple of these, and it's really not difficult. And I mean, not to mention, Mad Jack comes with some good features. I mean, you have your fo your free voicemail. That's voicemail to email. I mean, tons of other features. So anyways, now we're done talking about the Magic Plus, we're going to talk about the modem a little more. Setting up your modem is not too difficult either. And Time Warner has the directions clearly listed on their website. You can just run a Google search and come across them pretty fast. It's almost as if they wanted you to switch from one of their modems to your own. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're losing money in the, in the long run, I guess. Um, because surely uh, not everybody's modem is failing all the time. They're, they've got to be making some profits off those lease fees. But basically, I mean, I mean, it's, if you look at the box, you can see some nice features here. And to be honest with you, it seems like when you purchase your own modem, you get better performance. Now, you're still going to be limited to what your internet plan is, such as with Time Warner Cable, the standard internet is... 15 megabits down and around a little over 1 megabit up, which is not really my favorite. When I get my own service in my own place someday, it'll be probably the turbo, if not something better, if that's coming around. Um, so basically, setting up your modem is fairly easy. So think about it. You're, you're losing that that $6 modem lease fee. Your home phone is now Magic Jack Plus. You're going to save some money. Now, last but not least, I'm going to talk about the Seton M50 V4. Now, this is a device that does require some technical know-how to set up and configure. You can buy this in either a PCI Express variant or a USB device. Or if you purchase the M50 V6, you can get it in either a PCI Express internal card or an Ethernet standalone device. Now, not only is this the most complicated of the three things to set up, this is also the most expensive. The Infinity V4 goes between 150 to 200 dollars online. Yes, yes, it's pretty expensive. Now, if you decide to go this route, um, I do have some videos on you know, regarding the Infinity V4. I have quite a few of them. And if I remember, I'll go ahead and post the description to every video I have of the Infinity V into this description for this video. So it requires some technical know-how, but you can save a lot of money if you go this direction. I mean, yes, this thing is very expensive, but it will pay for itself over time. Just think, um, I only know how much Time Warner charges for DVR. I know it's not to the cheapest out there either. Now, in regards to set-top boxes, they charge, I think, around $10 for the box and around 3 to $4 for the program guide, and that's per box. So we're going to say $13 a box. 
So let's say you have three set top boxes in your house. You're paying thirty dollars in um, set top box fees and around ten dollars worth of guide fees. The Seaton Infinity TV uses one cable company provided cable card and in some cases, like with Time Warner Cable, a tuning adapter, which is free with the. I mean, it's free by itself. It comes with the lease of the cable card, which is only two dollars and fifty cents a month, I believe. Two dollars or three dollars a month, not much at all. So just think, with Windows Media Center and Windows 7, you're getting free DVR service. You're getting a free program guide. The only lease, the, the only lease fee you're paying to Time Warner, if you go this route, where you have your home phone through Magic Plus, you have your own modem for your internet, and you have a Seton for your TV, you're only paying one set um, fee, and it's like $2 or something for the cable card. So you're paying your, let's say for TV and internet, for the preferred TV and standard internet is eighty nine ninety nine a month for twelve months, plus about I would say five to six dollars worth of um, taxes and fees plus the equipment charge. I'd say around a hundred dollars a month. So you're getting something pretty decent out of this. Now, of course, um, if you look online, Time Warner does offer triple plate bundles for like seventy nine ninety nine, but they're really basic bundles. I mean. The internet's kind of basic. The TV's real basic. Yeah, they advertise it all the time. You can get TV, internet, and home phone for only seventy nine ninety nine a month for twelve months, but you're getting really basic service. In the long run, you do save this by doing things this way by not leasing Time Warner equipment. I mean, you do have to lease the cable car, but not leasing other equipment such as set top boxes and modems, and just not even bothering with their home phone. Just use a Magic Plus for that. So, anyways, um. I know this video is kind of all over the place, but hopefully this will be some helpful advice for you guys. Maybe some, for you guys who like to hear me bash on Time Warner Cable, maybe you got some entertainment out of this today. So anyways, um, thanks for watching. And stay tuned because I will hopefully post a video after all this is said and done. Now obviously with the Infinity TV, I already have that, but I'll post an update once the... Um, surfboard modem is installed and Magic Plus is installed for their home phone. So anyways, again, thanks for watching.